Tonight's matchup features the two and six Chicago Bears having a down year. The undefeated Green Bay Packers, they do have a tie coming in at 7-0-1. We're here in prime time, just about set for a Sunday night matchup on EA Sports. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Simms. Do we have a little upset special coming your way today? One team's unbeaten. Yeah, we do. And it's tough for an unbeaten team to, when you talk about Week 10 because you can't get ahead of yourself. You can't start thinking, oh, what would it be like if we have an undefeated season? Oh, maybe this is the year we're going to the Super Bowl. Forget all that. Try to do your best to put yourself in position just to win today's game. The Packers are back deep, waiting to return the kick. Now at quarterback, a Super Bowl winning quarterback, and that, Aaron Rodgers. Well, when you talk about Aaron Rodgers, what can you say? The guy, to me, has the best throwing arm in the NFL when you combine accuracy, power, throwing it down the field, throwing it short with touch, he can do it all. Play action fake, looking to throw. That catch gives them a first down. Selling this play big time. The defense, they go for the run fake, and that's why he has time to throw the football at the 20. Cutler is going to jog out to the huddle now. He's done now a good job protecting I will the switch to controller number two. The top 10 and fewest INTs thrown and I will this take control of Jay Cutler. Will go ground. Lacey takes the hit and is brought down. Eddie Lacy, just another big, strong, fast running back out of the University of Alabama. This guy, what I really like about him is wonderful feet. He can get around you and a good job picking up big yards. Out to the left. Finds his mark. Gains 11. What a nice catch by the receiver. Gets past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. So you got Jay Cutler and Aaron Rodgers, two quarterbacks in the same division, both of whom can really fling the football. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. Aaron Rodgers is going to take it from the shotgun. And he's intercepted. And he steps out of the field of play. You got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally they come up with the big play and they get the interception inside their own 20 yard line. Cutler's got it on the play action. Looking to the right side and throwing. Cutler's able to show off the footwork. Wow, what a good job. Look at those feet. Like a dancer. Gets himself in very good position to throw the football. The Bears come out and a two tight end set. Takes it from the eye. Ortiz, the guy, anytime he gets a chance to get into secondary and make a big play, he thinks he's going to take it for a touchdown. Not this time. It's a big run, but still well done. Well, good job that time by the defense. They catch the offense off guard, and they send more guys than the offensive line can block. When you're outnumbered, it's up to the quarterback to get rid of the football. He does it, and he takes the sack. And he races out of bounds at that point. It's third down and over 10 yards. You got to give your offensive line a lot of credit. They give the quarterback extra time, and he makes the throw down the field to pick up the first down. And shotgun formation. He'll take the snap from the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. The Packers get a first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Rodgers by himself in the backfield. The Packers are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation from the gun. Rodgers breaks out of that one. But they can't connect. End of one here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We'll be back momentarily for the start of the second.
McGill. And straight ahead, Lacey scores the touchdown. Well, the offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead. It's got to give a big lift to the defense. They've got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. The incompletion stopped the clock, but third and eight still to come. Lacey lines up in the backfield. Looking across the middle, has his man. Games 18. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. Rodgers sends it to Cobb. It's still early, but we've seen this wide receiver come out and make plays already. Aaron Rodgers going to take it from the shotgun. Got the completion, and he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. First down at the 24. Keeps it here to Marshall. Man intercepted. They bring him to the turf. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Reaches up to make the catch. Sticks to his hands, and that's a gain of nine. Nice catch by the receiver. Play action. Great pass, great catch, great control. Number six, Number six. Cutler's job is to sell that play fake, and boy, did he do it that time. It fooled the defense. Does it for the first half. Bears trailing this one. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back now at the first half. The Packers have picked up their passing attack after last week's game. The Bears will need to find a way to upset the rhythm of the passing attack in the second half. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Packers have it early in the second. Lacey's going to take off here. And finally on play 14, they score. They're now on top by four. Line up right at the 22-yard line. Here we get a quick pass and completion. And they'll end up at their own 40-yard line before being tackled. Drive, quick pass is complete, and the pass and catch will end up going for 21 yards. Now following the interception, the quick pass and completion is made, and he'll end up at the 20-yard line before being tackled. Nickel formation for the defense here. Second half gets rolling now as he takes it's intercepted. Sometimes you're going to throw interceptions, but my complaint is the offensive players. Nobody hustling, nobody there to make the tackle, and they return it all the way for a touchdown. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. It's a two tight end formation. Second down and two. On the money. He heads to the sidelines, out of bounds. Rodgers is selling this play big time. The defense, they go for the run fake, and that's why he has... This has been a long drive so far. Three-step drop. Makes the grab. Touchdown. a sweet touchdown right there just a nice throw by the quarterback he put it right on the money the receiver makes the catch beautiful touchdown the Packers will come to the line trying to put together a scoring drive here in the fourth offense lines up here Aaron Rodgers able to find Randall Cobb gains 16 the Bears 
have counted on this defense to keep them in games this year, but so far that unit has been absolutely manhandled. Yeah, this is a game they are not used to, that is for sure. And what you're doing on the defensive side, you get in that huddle and you just want somebody to make a play to turn this game around and get your defense off the field. Staying with the passing game on first down. Pass is intercepted. And now he'll dip out of bounds. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. An open lane. Pure determination. What a run. Touchdown. You don't see a lot of them anymore because we have so many good tackling safeties in the NFL, but not this time. That long run goes for a touchdown. It was about the moves and the blocks down the field. Terrific job by the offense. How much did it surprise you, Phil, final summation that this game was so one-sided? Ah, uh, to say suppressed shock. I am shocked. I thought this game could actually turned out the other way, but the fact that it was just a blowout, what a surprise, and I don't know the losing team. Hey, they, they got a lot of questions they got to answer in one short week. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Simms, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.